you'll pick your first color and make a slip knot you're going to chain four slip stitch to the first chain to make a loop chain three this will count as our first double crochet place two double crochets into into the center of the ring now we have three double crochets chain one for a spacer place three double crochets in the same chain one three double crochets into that same space chain one three double crochets in the same space chain one now we have um, sorry we have to put three double crochets so we have one two three and four pairs of double crochets chain one and slip stitch to to the third chain you'll chain one to secure your work cut your yarn and we are going to introduce our second color pick your second color and make a slip knot find any of the chain one spaces attach your yarn insert your hook and attach your yarn by slip stitching chain three this counts as our first double crochet double crochet into that same space two times chain one into that same chain one space you're going to place three double crochets and we have made our first corner chain one for a spacer into the next chain one space you'll place three double crochets chain one into the same space three more double crochets chain one in the next chain one space three double crochets chain one three more double crochets in the same chain one space chain one and into the last chain one space three double crochets chain one three more double crochets now we have four corners you'll chain one find the third chain and slip stitch on top of that chain one cut your yarn and introduce your third color um, find any of the chain one spaces i like to start where i slipped 
I, fi I finished from. Slip stitch and chain three. This will count as a first double crochet. Uh, place two more double crochets into that chain space, into that chain one space. And in in the corner, in the corner space, um, chain one, you're going to place three double crochets. Since it is a corner, you place three double crochets, chain one, and three more double crochets in the same, in the same corner. Chain one, in the chain one space, you're going to place three double crochets. Chain one, uh, in the corner space, you place three double crochets. chain one and three double crochets in the same corner so at the corners at the corner spaces we place six double crochets chaining one after double crocheting three chain one into the chain one space you go in with three double crochets Chain one in the corner, three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets in the same corner. Chain one. Three double crochets in the chain one space. Chain one and into our last corner, place three double crochets. Chain one and three more double crochets. So you should keep in mind that in the corners you place three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets in the same space. At the end of the row, you chain one, slip stitch to the third chain. And you're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. And into the chain one space, chain three, and you're going to repeat what we just did uh, two double crochets in the same space chain one in the corner three double crochets chain one and three more double crochets Chain one, double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, double crochet three times in the next chain one space. And at the corner, you place three double crochets. Chain one and three double crochets. You're going to do that and we meet up at the end of this granny square when you're done you will chain one uh, slip stitch to the third chain to cut your yarn and you fasten off and i'm going to show you how uh, how it will look like at the end of the row so i'm at the end of the row and i'm going to chain one 
I'll slip stitch to the first double crochet and chain one I'll cut my yarn okay so you're going to make a total of eight granny squares because uh, each panel gets four the front gets four and the back gets four you're going to make four of these and then I'll show you what you'll do with them you're going to sew your granny squares just like you see in this video you use any method that you're comfortable with you can use a yarn needle or the hook itself uh, attach for sew up four granny squares just like this and I'm going to show you I already made one panel I already made one panel so the front panel gets four granny squares and the back gets four so what you're going to do is um, you find one corner make sure your work is uh, the right side is up find the corner any of the corners of the granny square find that corner and slip stitch you're going to chain three which will count as our first double crochet double crochet two times into that corner to make three double crochets chain one and into the chain into the next chain one space you'll go in with three double crochets chain one in the next chain one space you'll double crochet chain one double crochet in the next chain one space chain one and into that space the corner which is supposed to be a corner you're going to double crochet three times chain one in the next space which is the corner double crochet three times so now you can see that into the corners we just placed three double crochets because we're not going to make any more corners chain one double crochet three times in the next chain one space chain one and you're going to continue doing that chaining one and double crocheting three times in the chain one spaces including the corners and we meet at the end of the row So I'm arriving at the end of the row. 
I've chained one and into the last corner I'll place three double crochets. So for this row at the end of it you should have um, you should have 20 double I mean 20 pairs of double crochets. So you count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You're going to turn your work, chain 3, I mean chain 4. This counts as a double crochet, chain 1. Um, into the chain 1 space, you're going to double crochet. chain one and double crochet in the next chain one space chain one double crochet in the next chain one space and you're going to do that to the end of the row double crochet in the next chain one space So continue double crocheting three times in the chain one spaces and I'll meet you at the end of this row. We will have to balance at the end of the row so I'll show you how. I'm arriving at the end of my row and I'll chain one into that chain four space that you started with in the previous row you're going to go in with three double crochets to balance the other side because we started with three double crochets you're going to turn your work and chain four double crochet in the chain one space three times and continue doing that to the end of this row um, at the end of the row you will chain one and double crochet on top of the last double crochet and you're going to repeat this for a total of 16 rows um, so we have made three rows you're going to make the the 13 rows then I'll meet you at the end of the 13 rows because um, the 17th row is going to be a little bit different. So go ahead and finish the rows and then we will meet at the end of the 16 rows. Okay, at the end of 16 rows, this is how your work should look like. Now we are going to shape the neck going to turn your work um, you will chain three count as a double crochet double crochet two times into that chain one space chain one double crochet in the next chain one space three times chain one and you're going to double crochet into the next five I mean you'll place three double crochets um, into the next five chain one spaces so these are two double crochet three chain one double crochet in the next chain one space that is four chain one Double crochet three times in the next chain one space. Chain one. Chain two. Chain three. Chain four. Chain five. Chain six. 
chain one double crochet in the next chain one space three times of course so we have one two three four five six and one more to go and the last pair of double crochets seven double crochets seven pair of double crochets you're going to turn your work chain four counts as a double crochet chain one place three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the next chain one space chain one three double crochets in the last chain one space chain one and double crochet on top of the chain three from the previous you will chain one to secure your work and cut your yarn you're going to do the same thing on the other side you're going to turn your work make sure your work is face the right side is facing up um, you'll count six stitches from here from where you stopped one two three four five six and into the seventh one you're going to you're going to attach your yarn and slip stitch you will chain three counts as a double crochet make two more double crochets into that space chain one and repeat what we have been doing on this side um, this middle stitches is where the neck is it's going to be our neck so you're going to make two rows just like on the right side go ahead and do that and then we will meet once you're done with the two rows at the end of this row I've chained one and I'll double crochet on top of the first um, the first double crochet from the previous row chain one to secure your work and cut your yarn so you're going to go to the bottom where the grannies are attach your yarn to that corner and make um, one row of double crochets across mm. Mm. Slip stitch, chain three into the same 
space you're going to make two more double crochets chain one and then you're going to make three double crochets into the chain one spaces chaining one in between all to the um, till you arrive the end of the row you'll cut your yarn and secure your work so in a minute I'm going to show you how your work should look like after this row so when you have both your panels uh, arrange them the way you see in the picture um, the wrong sides facing each other and then you'll sew this um, you'll sew both ends together at the neck area the seven stitches you sew them together and then you'll you'll determine where you want your armholes to be I'll show you that in a minute so I counted 12 stitches uh, from the neck uh, for my armholes I, you count 12 stitches and then you stitch the rest of the uh, the stitches you sew the rest of the stitches together you leave 12 stitches up and that is all for today thank you for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and see you again in the next video make sure to weave in all the loose ends